Happy New Year! Welcome to my channel, Sea Panda Crafts. My name is Wendy, and I have a super cute Dollar Tree Valentine's Day haul that I want to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get right in. Okay, so the first thing I want to share with you guys are some decor pieces that I picked up. I am so lucky I snagged this because I know these are going to sell out super fast. It's just a little wooden decor piece. Super cute. Is this? No. This way? This way? This way. <laughs> this is a wooden or particle piece, and it has, like, a little hanger, so you can hang it up. I think I'm going to paint this white. This is super high quality. You would pay a lot more at Michael's for something like this. The next thing is this wood sign. It has the metal embellishment right there. They have the white one too. This one you can also hang up. They have the white one, but I went ahead and just picked up the red. The white one does not have the arrow through the heart, I think is the only difference. And it's white. Okay, and the last decor piece I got was this cute little felt wreath. I am going to put it on my dining room table around my hurricane uh, base. So that's the last decor piece that I got. So the next thing are the stickers. I am obsessed with stickers. I love using them in my planner, on mail, on notes, anything. I just, I'm obsessed with stickers. <laughs> so this is so, I don't know if you can see that very well, but look how adorable these stickers are. I mean, the elephant, the alligator, I mean, everything about this is adorable. Okay, and then I got these. I don't know if you can see from the glare. These are really cute as well. I can't wait to do the, my February planner spread out. I'll, I'll go ahead and put that on my channel as well. And these, they have these every year, but they're just good to have on hand. I always pick these up. And then these ones. And then they've had this pack out for a while. They're like kind of, I guess, foiled. Whatever you call this. They're super cute. And I just needed them for my collection. I've, I saw them a million times. I just never picked it up. I don't know why. Because I bought, purchase every sticker they sell at, <laughs> at Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's get into the cards. These cards were on a display when you first walk in. Uh, at least at the Dollar Tree that I went to. They weren't with the rest of the cards. So this one says, Love Potion. Be My Valentine. I mean, you would pay five, six dollars at Target, at a grocery store, wherever they sell cards for something like this. I mean, never, never, never buy cards anywhere except Dollar Tree, in my opinion. I, I will never buy cards anywhere other than Dollar Tree ever again. And then I do not know what I would do without you. This is super cute. And you can also use these in your planners. You can take off like the thing, the coffee, the donut, and put them on. You can make your own cards. You can, honestly, you don't have to use this as a card. I'm probably gonna go back and get doubles of all these because I'm going to, I also want to send them to people, but I also want my own copy. So this one I got for my husband. This is super cute. And the llama. The llama is adorable. Sending you a llama love. Oh my goodness. And then I did see, who was it? Pretty and Flawed hauled a lot of these cards as well and I saw a narwhal one and it was adorable but they didn't have it at 
my Dollar Tree. So I think I'm going to go try to find a different Dollar Tree just to get that card. And I'm going to buy like five of those because they are just so cute. And then this one I got for my daughter because she loves unicorns. So cute. And then I just got some cards in the in the actual card section for grandparents. I love sending out cards to people. I don't know. Something simple as a card can brighten someone's day. So I got those. Okay, so the next items I got were for my, my children. Uh, I have a three and a ten-year-old. So I'm going to make a pancake breakfast for them and have their little gifts set out for them on the dining room table when they wake up. So the first things I got for them are these cute little boxes. This one says, be mine. It has a little bee on it. This one's for my girl. And they have the little Velcro closure. I mean, these, these are so cute. So I'm going to put like little chocolates or little gifts in there for them. And then this one is for my son. So I got those. These will, those boxes will sell out fast too. So snag them now. And then I got the, them some little chocolate boxes. What else? And for my daughter, I got this cute little unicorn rubber ducky. I love the little rubber duckies that Dollar Tree puts out. I got her a Santa rubber ducky for Christmas and put it in her stocking. So cute. Love the rubber duckies. Then these cute little puppy dog socks for her. These are so soft. Like, these are quality socks. She loves puppies. And then I also got her this cute little frame. So I think I'm going to put a picture of her and I in there and put it in her little box. Or I might just keep the puppy in there. I mean, she loves dogs. <laughs> so super cute. They also had a heart shaped one and I forgot the other one, but I liked the confetti or whatever you call this in there the most because it was hearts the other ones weren't um as nice as that one then I got these little goodie bags there are 25 in a pack I got these for my son to stuff his valentine day treats and hand them out at school and then packs of pencils He's in the fourth grade, so like the stickers and like the little, what do you call them? Like the little goodie bag toys. I mean, he, the kids aren't really into those anymore, but it's school. So I did pick up the pencils, but honestly, we're probably just going to stuff these with candy because that's what kids want is candy. Okay. So the next thing I got, I can never pass up a tote at... The Dollar Tree. I mean, they are adorable. I use these grocery shopping. I take them everywhere. I use them to haul stuff around my house. I mean, you can never have enough tote bags. And I hate plastic bags except to pick up dog poop. So, okay, the next things are not Valentine's Day related, but I will show them anyways. I got this cute little bow ribbon for my daughter. Her birthday is coming up. In February she'll be turning three and then I got this princess wrap I'm pretty sure we're gonna be doing a princess theme birthday party and this is 30 by 7 feet so I also get all my bag gift bags wrapping paper bows from Dollar Tree because they will be expensive anywhere else and then the next things I got were these poly envelopes I saw Crafty Girl haul these on her channel, and I think she said she was using them for 
sticker organization? I'm not sure. I can't remember, but I think that's what she said. And I thought that was a great idea because I do not have any organization whatsoever to my stickers. It's kind of a mess. So I thought maybe this might work. It might not. If not, I can always use these to store my cards in and label them differently. But I opened one to show you guys how they go in because I was like super confused at first. I was like, why is, do you have to like punch the holes yourself? But no, it slides out. If I can get it. This part, you got to kind of break it up to get it to come out. It's a horrible example, but well, that wasn't supposed to happen. I think I just broke that one. <laughs> okay. So they're supposed to slide out like this. And then I thought it stopped right here where the seam is, but you can actually stick your whole hand in. So it is a deep pocket. And they, they had a few different colors from what I saw on her channel, but I was only able to find three packs in orange and pink. So I went ahead and picked those up and I'm hoping I can find more. Okay, so the very last two items that I picked up, also not Valentine's Day related, but worth sharing because they are a steal. The first is this Chelsea Market Makers cookbook. So this is recipes, tips, and techniques from the artisans of New York's premier food hall. This is a gorgeous book. It retails for $29.95 US dollars and I looked it up on Amazon and it's going for $13.45. So either way, this is a steal and it is gorgeous. I mean, the pictures, the recipes in here are, let me find a good picture. Amazing. I mean, even if you don't like to cook and you just want to look classy, all you have to do is like put this in your kitchen. I mean, look at that. These are beautiful. And if you do know someone that likes to cook, you could always give this as a housewarming gift with like a gift basket of utensils or cooking things. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful. And it's hardcover. And then here is the price. Okay, so, and then the last cookbook I got was this Make It Tonight cookbook, and this retails for $17.95, and I looked it up on Amazon, and it is going for $17.76, so once again, an awesome deal, and these recipes actually look delicious in here. So... And I do love to cook, so I bought, I did buy these for me with the intention of um, following some recipes in here. And I will be starting a cooking channel this year, hopefully. That is my plan. All right, well, that is it for my haul. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button and please subscribe. It would really help me out. I am new to the whole YouTube community and I have so many things planned for my channel. I'm so excited. I have planner, videos, DIYs, junk journaling, hauls, vlogs, Bible journaling. I'm just so excited for the potential of my channel and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So thank you all and have a blessed day.